Okay, so not having it back with more Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. I was in um, theater mode the other day, and I was just screwing around. Actually, it was yesterday. Uh, I was screwing around, and I figured I'd take the free cam and zoom around these uh, these levels. And what's not a big deal, but it was mildly surprising to me is that I could take the free cam and actually go outside of the boundaries of the levels so I figure I would go through some levels and um, take a look and see how the designs of the levels are and what I found was not, not somewhat shocking not a big deal uh, let's go to this roof you see some AC units you see some lights this is zoo a zoo in Russia I'm guessing probably most likely but let's take a look outside of the zoo let's look at these cars that are apparently made out of stone these cars are statues this isn't a big deal because this isn't part of the the game itself but if you have cars, I mean look at that if you have cars that are inside of the game you know that blow up and everything I mean what don't you think you'd use those same models just to throw some out there on the highway? Why would you make stone cars? That doesn't make any sense. And even if you made stone cars, if I was trailer and I put stone cars on the highway, there's no way in the world I'd let somebody go out there and zoom in on them. Anyway, I saw an article. I overreacted about it. It said Call of Duty was the fastest completed game. And I was like, well, no wonder it sucks online. But it, the article itself is actually how fast it took people to complete the single player I thought it was uh I'm actually glad I didn't make the video because I would look like a complete idiot but anyway this is uh, domination on zoo I'm rocking the infield I've recently um this is PlayStation 2 uh, they having a double XP weekend so I went ahead and prestiged and I was rocking the infield I unlocked it. I said, let me check it out. I used the infield a little bit here and there. This actually isn't a bad gun. As you see, I started, I ran up the steps. You know, everybody does that 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 full-out run at the beginning. And um, I don't know what I was doing my uh, uh, run around like a chicken with the head cut off. Was I doing that? I think I was capping some flags and everything. And you know one thing about domination? If you're on a team... Everybody should have at least one cap because in most of the levels in Black Ops or Call of Duty, they start you very close to one flag, almost in front of a flag in most cases. So you should have at least one cap. I'm not saying that you have to have 10 caps or, you know, whatever, but you should have at least one because they make it pretty easy for you. Uh, the infield is a really good gun. It has... Uh, fairly good recoil it's almost it has very little recoil actually no, that's what I meant by very good it has you know the recoil is almost non-existent in most parts uh, the damage is pretty low but the fire rate is is moderately high so it kind of makes up for it and if you are good if you have pretty good aim and you know how to snap on target then you have some pretty good matches with this gun I would if this gun was in Modern Warfare 2 and you could put stopping power on it, this gun would be amazing. Amazing. The FAMAS is similar to this gun, but the recoil pattern is is it has much more recoil probably since they uh since they uh ah not uh what is it? What is it? They nerfed it. So um I, I wouldn't I'd go with the FAMAS because the FAMAS has a faster uh um what is it faster rate of fire and i believe the stats in the game are lying i think the farm is stronger than it actually is and i think the aug is actually stronger than the farm because the aug has unbelievable hip fire uh capabilities and i've been able to mow people down with the aug but i don't know this game is built upon internet connection if you have a good internet connection you have godlike powers and you can take a ballistic knife and just murder everybody so my thoughts on the infield are if you are just playing it's a pretty good gun and if you're a very experienced player looking for some sort of challenge 
then try out the infield. Put down the FAMAS and try the infield. Everybody is a FAMAS person. Everybody has a FAMAS, and it's pretty cool. I understand that in MLG they play, you know, that's like one of the most popular guns. But, you know, whatever. If you're down for a challenge, then go with the infield. If you're playing for competition, then um, go with the, the FAMAS, I guess. I don't know. I, um, I, I joined the uh, MLG network and I started watching some of their uh, games that they have on there, their live feeds. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty entertaining. You know, you can learn some stuff here or there. It depends on what your skill level is. I saw some things that I'll try out and just seeing how those guys work together as a team is pretty awesome. Of course, they do the, uh, the competition. Like, if you play competition players on Black Ops, it's basically the same thing. Um, this video is just about over because Call of Duty Black Ops didn't record the whole um, the whole match. Thank you, Treyarch, for putting out such a great game. This is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted when I paid for this game. This video is over. I'm not having it, and I'm out.